Hi readers, how are you doing today? Are you ready to do some reading together? We will be doing some spelling to complement our reading. Materials. For today, you only need your thinking cap. Go ahead and strap it on tightly. Here are today's two learning targets. I can read the high frequency words, yes, do, and much. And I can segment, blend, and spell closed two syllable words like dish rag and tunnel. Transition song. Gather round together, together, together. Gather round together, together, let's go. Stand up and think about what we've learned. Let's make some great connections with letters and sounds. Fluency. In our last lesson, we learned some new high frequency words that we read in the book, Pat's Backpack. Let's go fishing and read those words again together. Go ahead and get your fishing rod and cast it out. Imagine, are you at a lake, a river, or the ocean? Did you catch something? Reel it back in and take a look. What word did you catch? Yes, that high frequency word plays fair. Go ahead and cast your line out again. You caught something? Reel it back in. And what did you catch? Do. One more word to catch. Go ahead and cast out your line. You got it? Reel that fish back in. And what did you catch? Uh-huh, much. Much is a high frequency word that plays fair. Nicely done. Transition song. Now it's time to listen, to listen, to listen. Now it's time to listen to some sounds and some words. We hear sounds to spell words and then we can read words. It's time to read some words. Now look how smart we can be. Word work. Here is our first word, and it is a word with two syllables. Let's look at each syllable at a time. Here is the first syllable. Let's tap out the sounds in this syllable together. D Ish, dish. You've got it. How many sounds did you hear in the word dish? That's right, there were three. The S and the H are a digraph and they work together to make one sound. Let's put the three sounds in our first syllable into sound boxes. You can point to the box while I tap out the first syllable again. D, E, SH, DISH. Nice job. Now, let's look at our second syllable. Can you tap that out with me? R, A, G, RAG. How many sounds were in our second syllable? That's right, there were three. Let's put those three sounds into our sound boxes now. You can point to the box where each sound belongs. Er, ag, rag. Okay, our first syllable was dish and the second was rag. When we put that together, what do we make? Dish rag, nice work. Let's look at our next two syllable word. I'll go ahead and divide the word into syllables for us. 
Now, let's tap out the sounds in this first syllable. T, on, ton. How many sounds did you hear? Mm-hmm, there were three. Point to the sound box where each sound belongs when we tap it out again. T, on, ton. Okay, we're gonna hold that on our brains as we think and read the second syllable. Let's tap it out. N -l -n -l. How many sounds in the part nell? Mm -hmm. There were three again. Let's put them in our sound boxes. Here we go. N -l -n -l. All right, we have the part ton, and then the second part or syllable nell. Ton, nell. Tunnel. Nice job decoding that two syllable word. Closing reflection. Fantastic work today, readers and writers. Let's think. How does segmenting a word and then blending the sounds back together help us think about each syllable? And how is that helping you to become a better reader? Nice job. Remember that decoding each syllable at a time can help us to then put the word back together to decode it. This week, Keep working on finding those high frequency words, yes, do, and much. What a lesson, you worked so hard. I'll see you again here soon for our next time together.